Here is the overall plug-in Smooth Operator Pro. As you can see, the GUI, my first impression of opening this up, it's really simple to use and it's really simple to understand. You have your global section here and then you have your, just your main spectral indication of your frequencies right here. And then you have like individual sections down here. Now, as far as this walkthrough, I have my vocal bus, my lead vocal bus and my backgrounds um, for my lead vocal bus on the verse with smooth operator on the bus track. So basically I'm sending all the different vocals and different tracks that I have for specific parts of the vocals, like the lead, the lead tracks are going to a bus and smooth operator is on that bus track and the background vocals are going to a bus and it's all, all the harmonies for the verse are on a bus track and smooth operator is on that bus track and we have that plugin running. Um, so we're using it as a mix bus plugin. So right here, this is the global section. This is our threshold here. Basically our global threshold, when you set the levels here, you're actually controlling the global spectral peak on this plugin right here on where the signal begins. Now, this is all the signal that's coming in. Now the global section controls the incoming signal and processes them. So this knob here, as you can see, it's going up and down. That's because it's readjusting and setting the threshold. You have your low and high preservation, which are specifically designed for correction. Even is flat. And if you want to use skew, this is designed to be more psychoacoustically pleasing as baby audio puts it. As you can see the low preservations and high preservations, these are so you can hone in on specific frequency areas that you want. The low frequency, you hone in on that as you can see. And with our high frequency, you can actually hone in and lock in on the frequency for specific areas that you want to attack or you want to like just clean up right here is our makeup this is think of it as with your compression when you want to make it up you crank it up once you get everything that you want you dial it up just to give it that gain so once again the big knob is not the overall control on output and making it louder makeup you pull that out, you push that up, then makeup is gonna give you control of your levels. Now, as you can see, we have our focus here. This is a detection. Now, what the detection is, once you set that spectral peak reduction, you can choose RMS for averaging out that spectral intensity. And with detail, you use this knob here to basically set the resolution of the spectral peak detection. And then your isolation, you can adjust the boundaries of the spectral detection for this as well. And then you have your compressor here, you know the threshold the ratio attack release how fast you want the compressor to attack and how fast you want the compressor to release and then we have our imaging here you can do left right stereo link you can change that up these are all global this is the overall side chain and then your output this right here is basically the mix you guys know this is a a, a must-have in any plugin and now any hardware um, i love a mix because you can determine how much of the plugin you want in there so it really gives you that ability to have that signal that you originally had and blend it in with the plugin signal which is really cool to have so let's dive into these nodes over here as you can see when i hit node one we can solo that node and it will just focus in on that and if we go to width we can actually change up the q this is pretty much designed for the Q and then our frequency we are targeting 89 so every time you hit any of these nodes let's get it back here and we redo what we did before but with the each one of these nodes once you hit that you have control over focus which is as we saw over here and you can override the global section over here which gives you the ability now remember once you override that global it won't affect what's going on over here you pretty much are in complete control and this is individual control so once you hit that that's it you are in control and then your compressor once you hit that for each node, so each one of these nodes, you can control the compressor, the focus, and the imaging of each actual node, which I like that word because it's a word that we use in film, especially in color grading. Um, when we add one part, we can go to another node and we can change that up while keeping the integrity of the previous node, which is really cool. I like that whole concept and approach um, to this plugin. So overall this is how the plugin is set up we have our presets up here and they have like over 100 presets here with top engineers which is really awesome um thank you baby audio for doing that um just a starting point presets are for starting points it's not the um 
in everything. So so this is a song that I produced. Um, I played the instruments, all of the instruments, and I actually, um, I'm singing it and I wrote it. I had fun doing this record. Um, I wanted the vocals to be heavy and I wanted the background vocals, the um, harmonies to be, you know, just really wide. And um, Baby Audio, this plugin, Smooth Operator Pro, helped me achieve that. Um, so I'm using it as an overall mix bus this is the vocal bus track let's go up top here let's pull up our verse here the overall lead track here we got some cool effects on it so this is how it sound overall and then we're gonna solo it who is your old film right now yeah because you're the main star right now yeah you got the best of me love is the recipe here is the rest of me yeah you know we were meant to be on my symphony Yeah We started low, now we're above They hate it, but we moved through love We conquered, we made it Had fun, got faded If it's your intention to join the mission Okay, so as you guys can see, the plugin is really responding. I, I kind of went hard with this just to show you guys what this plugin could do um, just overall. So we have our right here. We have nothing special happening in the lower end of the lead vocals other than the overall setup. We're not really doing anything but makeup and we have our threshold set. And then we have individual nodes. I am compressing that low end there. We have our attack and release to about 25 milliseconds and over here, 250 milliseconds on our release. Ratio four to one, I told you guys, I will never go beyond that when it comes to mixing vocals or just even mixing an overall track. Um, There's always two Two to one, four, three to one, four to one. I'm never really um, going anything outside of that. So as you can hear, let's go ahead and solo these vocals up for the lead vocal. Who is your old film right now? Yeah. Because you're the main star right now. Yeah. yeah. You got the best of me. Love is the recipe. Here is the rest of me. Yeah. You know we were meant to be you so, my symphony. With the threshold, check this out as we go through our vocals. Who is your old film right now? See? Yeah. You hear the frequency changed up? The main star right now. Because yeah. what we have going on here is we have most of the work of happening in the, the lower end. Here is the rest of me, yeah. You know we were meant to be you my symphony. So when I pull back off of this global threshold here, the material the details start coming back because i am only affecting i'm doing like the cool stuff in the lower end and in the mid so when you hear this threshold we're actually we breaking started low, now we're above. and those high frequencies pay attention to them right here they actually less is being done to them so you're starting to hear them more as we crank up the threshold Headphone got faded if it's your intention to join the mission. So you can use your ears to really dial in and do some really cool stuff. So another thing that we're doing here, we have the imaging right here at 1000 Hertz, which is 1K. And the reason why I'm doing this is that I said, you know what, let me do something really cool with the vocals since the human voice begins at like all the good stuff in the human voice is between 1K and 4K. So as the talking voice, I wanted to see just as far as the imaging, how would this sound? And it did exactly what I wanted it to do, which it expanded out over the instrument when I attacked that specific frequency, which is, it sounds odd, but it worked for what I was trying to go for, which I used the imaging. Check this out. Who is your old film right now? Really cool. Yeah. Cause you're the main star right now, yeah. That is wild. You got the best of me, love is the recipe, here is the rest of me, yeah. Yes. You know we were meant to be, you're my symphony. 
So as you can see, you can really get lost in this plugin here. Um, but the point is for it to be a creative sculpting tool. So the main goal is you have to just dive into this plugin and find what works or you find your workflow because this plugin gives you options. I love options when it comes to sculpting vocals and instruments, whether it's compression or sound, just think of this plugin as a plugin that you can actually scope the actual frequency node. You can focus in on that specific frequency and you can focus. You can use the focus, the detail um, with the focus, the compression and the imaging on each individual frequency. Or you can do this overall with the global controls and global correction and your output side chain. You can really make this plugin work for you as a tool. It's an ultimate toolbox for vocals and instruments.